Hi guys, this is a requested video uh, for Lindsay Pendleton. Um, they wanted to know if I could show how to make a simple cross, forged cross. And as usual, I hadn't got a clue how to do it, but I did a bit of research over the weekend and I came up with this method. So we're going to start off with about three inches of half inch square. Good old half inch. I do like half inch square. What I'm going to do is mark it on two sides down the centre for a cut. Now on this side I'm going to do about an inch, then I'm going to turn it through 90 degrees. See there's about about an inch. And then from where that one finishes down the rest of the bar, another line. So there you've got it on two sides. And there are your cut marks. So this is actually quite a simple idea. So I'm going to do this with a hacksaw because it's freezing cold here today. If you've got a bandsaw, you could do use that or even a um, cut-off disc. But so I'm going to use the hacksaw. Keep myself warm. Now Lindsay requested this. Um, as a gift for a, a sick grandparent. Um, so it was a bit of a challenge for me because as I say I hadn't got a clue how to do it. Um, so as usual it's a bit hit and miss. Get a bit of lubrication on there. It's not that squeaking and make life easier. Um, yeah as usual a bit hit and miss. Never done it before. Work it out as we go along. But from what I could gather on the video that I managed to sort of see on the internet, it is fairly simple and you get quite a nice result. You can see there I'm using all the hacksaw. The amount of times I watch people and they use the tiddly little bit in the middle and then say the hacksaw blades blunt. It's got teeth all the way along, so use them. There you go, that's the first cut. See there where it's been lubricated. Now all we're going to do is turn it around and do the other end. Um, I won't bore you with all of that. So we're halfway through. Now you can go right the way down to where the other cut starts. But what happens I think if you do that, when you finally open it up, you get a hole in the middle. So I'm actually going to stop, that's what I'm looking for now, I'm going to stop before I get to the other cut. I've sort of stopped just under an eighth I suppose, I've oh, dropped it. Um, yeah, just under an eighth I've stopped before the other cut. And hopefully when I open it up, it'll all be intact. Right, so there's the other cut. It's almost down the middle. Got one each end, and now all we've got to do is open it up on both ends. Open that one up and see what uh, it looks like. Now you can do that in one or two ways. You can either leave it in the vise and start the uh, the opening up with a chisel, just give it a, a bit of an open, or do it on the anvil with a hardy tool. I'm going to do it with the hardy tool. So I've got my hardy in the hole, it's just my cut off, got it hot and I'm just going to ease it open and then just use, you can see there, use the edge of the anvil to open it up a bit more and then the face, you get the idea, you can see where it's going, and it's gone all over the place, <laughs> you can see, which doesn't matter. If I can figure out how to hold it and straighten it out a bit. Again, with as with most of my jobs, you know, try and keep them reasonably straight and level, but don't spend too much time on it. There you go, you can see where we're going with that. Now all we've got to do is get the other end hot and do the same with that end.
Right, it should be warm enough by now. There we go. Now do exactly the same this side. As you can see, it's um, if I didn't make it obvious earlier, one end is longer than the other. That gives you the, the offset. You can see where we're going. Just going to open it up. And it's giving you the, the arms. Now what I'm going to do is get it really hot and give it a good bang in the middle. Flatten that down. You want to be slightly careful because uh, where you cut it, it could tear if it's not hot enough. So make sure you get it reasonably warm. And that's about right. Now just give it a good old wallop in the middle and flatten that right out. And as you can see, that's come out quite nice. And with it being starting in a bit of square, these sides don't actually need an awful lot of tidying up because it was nice and symmetrical to start with. So all you're really doing is uh, thinning it down um, the other way, not this way, this is just tidying it up. And you can see there, it's come out quite a nice cross, but you can see it's unsymmetrical, or it is symmetrical, so I'm just going to warm it up and cut that end off to give the traditional sort of cross shape. Again, you can do this many ways, but I'm favouring the chisel today. Alright, nice and warm. Work out just about where you want to put it, so that you get the the top three arms symmetrical. Don't quite go through, then take it to the cutting bed and whack it through. Alright, there you go. See they're almost symmetrical now. I'm just going to tidy this top up because it's got that sharp edge from where it was cut. Kick that hot bit off my rubber floor. Get it in there and get it warm again. I've right, got it warm, stick it up in the vise. Then I've got one of my old Farrier's rasps, which I use for all sorts. Just tidy that top up. Take that sharp edge off. Tidy it up, see if it's level. Clean up the rough edges, and that's about it. I'm not religious in any way, shape or form, so I don't, other than the basic shape, I don't know what should go on them or not, or anything. But that's basically how you can do it. I'm just going to tidy up the edges and put a hole in, which you can say so you could use it as a pendant. But you're, you could put whatever you like in it, do all sorts of designs, you could thin it out, round it off punch marks into it, whatever you like. But that's the basic shape, basic way of forging it. So I'm just going to clean it up with the wire brush and let you have a look. And there we go, cleaned up with the wire brush, put the hole in, and that's your basic cross. Hope that helps, Lindsay. Thanks for watching.